Thank you, Senator May, Senator Serino, and everyone who's here today. I wanted to share my thoughts regarding a bill for helping state agencies recognize age-friendly policies for older New Yorkers. Unfortunately, my in-laws, Michael and Dolores Newman, are not here to benefit from these ideas since they were two of the over 15,000 seniors we lost in the spring of 2020 from COVID they contracted in their separate elder care facilities. And while the rest of us were told to quarantine and stay as far away from the virus as possible, the governor's office was implementing a policy to put our most vulnerable directly into harm's way requiring nursing homes to admit COVID positive patients and prohibiting them from being tested. Today, despite a bipartisan push for answers, we still have no understanding of how or why that happened. In fact, we do not have a complete review of any of the state's pandemic policies as they relate to seniors and nursing homes. In March of this year, state comptroller Tom DiNapoli issued an audit on the nursing homes and the former governor's COVID performance. Not only did he confirm that the administration severely undercounted the nursing home deaths, he said, quote, the public was misled by the highest level of state government. I am grateful to Mr. DiNapoli. Uh, he did his part to confirm our suspicions, but that is not enough. And you may have seen in the news last week, the UK's high court ruled their government broke the law by failing to protect care home residents from COVID-19 during the pandemic. The ruling came in response to a lawsuit by two women whose fathers died when the virus ravaged through places they lived and should have been protected. Their lawyers said the decision which allowed COVID-19 to spread among the elderly and the vulnerable was one of the most egregious and devastating policy failures in modern era. Their government did exactly the same thing as New York under Andrew Cuomo. So going forward, how can we trust that the state will do right by older New Yorkers after it was the state that failed them so terribly during a pandemic when we knew they were most susceptible? As a meteorologist, my job is to help forecast storms. And when a hurricane or a blizzard hits New York, there is always an after action review to try and learn from what happened. Why are we not doing the same for over 15,000 seniors who were taken from us without warning? As a member of this committee, you're in charge of protecting and empowering our seniors. And I won't forget that many of you had the power to issue subpoenas to find out what happened two years ago as the dead were being piled up into storage trucks, but chose not to repeatedly. And even though we can't bring back those precious lives, it's not too late to do the right thing in their memory. You can choose now to use your voice to jo join mine and many other families about the importance of a full review. To co-sponsor the bill S2067 and A3162 that would establish an independent commission to investigate the state's handling of the pandemic. I realize that bill does not go through this aging committee, but you have a duty to help protect our most vulnerable New Yorkers. Inaction is unacceptable, and we need to push for those bills passages because time is running out. The seniors of the future deserve a look back at what happened in the past to ensure their safety and happiness. And the families like mine that lost their loved ones deserve the truth because we're not going anywhere and we're going to continue to advocate in honor of them. Don't let their deaths be in vain. All of you today have the power to give us answers and to help begin our healing process. And thank you for your time.